right, let's do a set of our heart butt exercises. I'm gonna start out with my um, bridge ups. So I'm just going to come down onto my back. I'm gonna put my feet right underneath my knees. I'm gonna find that neutral spine here. I'm gonna engage my transverse abdominals. I'm gonna curl it up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And this time I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna tighten and lift. Inhale, tighten, just changing the breath. Inhale, blow and go. Inhale, keeping the middle of my back on the ground. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna keep my my um, legs up and I'm going to, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna open and close. Keeping my glutes lifted, open and close. Open and close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Release. I'm gonna walk those feet in. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna open and close. Keep that transverse abdominals engaged. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open and close and bringing it down this time i'm just going to walk those feet back apart i'm going to bring my knees in i'm going to inhale exhale tighten and raise it up release exhale tighten and raise inhale exhale up inhale exhale up inhale exhale up Inhale, exhale, and release. This time, bring those heels together. Knees are wide. Inhale, exhale, bringing it up. Squeezing the glutes. Inhale down, exhale, bringing it up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're squeezing, 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 squeezing. Don't just be lifting those. Um, don't be just lift, it's a squeeze, lift, squeeze. So it's inhale, it's blow, tighten, pull up, lift, and squeeze. And release. And I'm just going to roll over onto my side. I'm gonna stack my hips. Your head can be cradled into your arm, it can be up, you can use a pillow. So I need to keep this stacked. I'm gonna slightly bring my feet just an inch or two in front of me. I'm gonna inhale, TFL, straight up to the side. So everything is tight and engaged here, okay? Hips are stacked. Make sure when you lift, you're not lifting up here and engaging the obliques. This is a TFL. Um, we're working the top of our glutes. So up, two, Foot is relaxed. Put your hand wherever you need it for support. You want to keep your hips stacked. Hold it up. Tiny pulses up at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. This time, I'm going to stay sidelining and I'm going to open 
my hips are staying stacked, this is my movement right here. I'm opening that femur, opening that up. So I'm gonna do my medius. And the movement is back and up at a diagonal. Okay, so it's one movement, it's not back and then up, it's like a letter V, back and up at a diagonal. You should feel it right up in there. Hips are stacked, abdominals engaged. Are we ready? And begin. Is your body moving? You don't want to be wobbling. The hips need to stay flush here. You don't want to kick, be kicking that open. Okay, so squeeze back and up. If it helps you stabilize, dig that toe in the ground. If you're wobbling, engage that core more. Two more. And release. Okay, this time we're gonna rotate that inwards. So it's the, our femur is rotating in and we're gonna be out and back at a diagonal. So it's, whoosh. okay, one movement. Ready? Out and back. If you can only move an inch here, only move an inch. This is a tough one for a lot of people. This is our minimus. It's probably the one that gets activated the very least. And let's take it back and a little pulse. Teeny little pulse up. And let, actually, when we pulse this time, let's go from um, foot down, butt up, okay? So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You should feel your butt muscles. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, and release. And I'm going to come into like, um, you can do, I'm, I'm going to come into a plank position. So if you want to do your, I'll do this, do this one first here. And the next time we'll go plank. So for our, our glute maximus, I'm just going to inhale, engage my transverse abdominals, and I'm going to bring this up. My hip is not leaving the ground. My weight is not flipping over. I'm inhaling and I'm bringing it up. Tighten up that midsection. If you have that midsection tight, you can focus in that glute. If you're feeling it in your low back, tighten up that core, okay? That's all tight. Hold it at the top and a teeny tiny little one inch up and down pulse. Everything is tight, 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 tight. And release. I'm just gonna flip around to the other side. And we're gonna do another set. Let's do some more bridge ups. Um, this time with our bridge ups, um, let's start, we'll just start, um, everything neutral. My ankles and my knees are bent. I'm going to inhale. Uh, this time on the exhale, just bring it up. Let's make sure we're using good form. So I'm going to take just like I'm pulling from a chain here, bringing, curling this, turning, pulling my pubic up towards my belly button, bringing it up towards me squeezing this in, 
transverse abdominals engaged. Center of my, my upper thoracic, like where your bra strap would go, is gonna need to stay down, meaning we're not gonna come up all the way up into here, all right? So we're gonna inhale, exhale up, squeeze. Now check, are your glutes squeezed? That's another key factor, ready? Inhale, bring it up, 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 up. And release. Now let's take, bring it up, and I'm gonna bring my knees in and out. Just getting all this warmed up, in and out. bringing that down. I'm gonna walk my feet a little bit further out, bringing my knees together. Inhale, bring it up. heels together, everything is engaged, feeling that pubic bone up towards me, transverse abdominals engage, squeeze it up, inhale, up, And let's just hold it up and do an open, close, uh, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Walk the feet out to neutral, hold it up, and a little tiny pulse. So squeeze, this is just fatiguing at the end. Um, focus on my voice, just teeny little squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with your glutes and focus on my voice and try not to think about that burn. This fatiguing out the muscles is actually so good. We never want joint pain, but this muscle burn means we're gonna have growth, and that is our whole goal here, is to strengthen our glutes, have some glute growth, and stabilize our hips. Ah, and release. Oh, that felt really good. Bring your knees into your chest. Gentle movement, stretching that out. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, and now I'm gonna flip onto my side. We're gonna go to the into the TFL. So I'm on my side, my body is in one straight line. My hips are stacked one on top of the other, all right? My head, you know, is optional if you have a pillow, whatever's comfortable. I'm just gonna gently bring my feet a little bit forward so I can maintain better balance. And my TFL, the first one, my foot is just gonna, it's not gonna be flexed, it's not gonna be pointed, somewhat neutral. Do not engage your obliques. I mean, they're tight, but you don't wanna be working the obliques. We're working our leg, our glutes. Ready? Bring it up. So right there, I can feel that this is engaged. Bring it up. And it, your movement on one side may be different than the movement on the other. Um, it's very common not to be completely uh, even on each side. <laughs> or, you know, one side is more difficult. So inhale, exhale up. Everything's tight. You should not feel it anywhere but right here. And I'm gonna hold it up and I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny, tiny little pulse. Fatiguing out that muscle. It's just a, like a one inch, teeny little movement up and down. And release. All right, this time I'm gonna do my medius. So that is going to open up and it's gonna come straight out and back. 
All right. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Slow. Bringing it down slow. Don't let it slam back. Taking it out. And in. Bringing it out. And in. And in. Check. Are your hips stacked? Mine are. Are yours? Bringing that back. Glutes are tight. Two more. Release. This time we're going to do the minimus so that is going to come behind us, point that toe in, and our movement is out and back at the diagonal. Upper body still. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Hold it up and now just take an open close, open close, open close, open close. So it's just that femur moving. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are doing this and can feel it. This one just burns. Ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> Crazy burn. So good. Oh my. Think of how that's going to shape the top of that butt. And stable lays that hip. Oh, it's so good, so good, so good, so good. And release. Great job. You can give that a little squeeze if you need to. All right. Glute maximus. Um, so this time, I'm just going to leave it up to you if you want to stay flat. In the, super, in the Superman position here, you can stay flat. Just do a, a little pillow with your hands. You want to keep everything pushed in, and you just bring it up. Bring it up. Another option is to come up into a tabletop position. You can stay down on your elbows, so your elbows are directly below your shoulder, okay? Extend that leg back, tighten your core, keep this level, and bring it up. Keep going, you can also bring it straight up. Just check your form. Come up, make sure you're not falling into that support side. You may need to stay down here, and you may be more comfortable down here. So my hips are pushing into the ground. And let's hold it up and squeeze. And release. Let's take and just sit back into child's pose, bringing it back, bringing those knees into our chest. Your, in, your arms can extend out in front of you or back behind you. Just take a couple deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do another set, just a slight variation. We're going to come in and we're going to do some bridge ups. All right, so I'm just going to start out on my back. I'm going to bring my pubic bone up towards me so it's a curl up. Engage my transverse abdominals. That's the inner corset. Protects the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Curling it up one at a time and down. Exhale. 
Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, rolling it up. Inhale down. Roll it up. Bring it down. Up. And down. Up. And I want you to hold. I want you to tap those knees together. Tap, 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 tap. Squeezing your glutes, tapping the knees. In, 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 in. Check, everything squeezed. Release, bringing it down. Take a deep breath. Exhale, hold that pubic bone, roll it up, bring it up, engage the transverse abdominals. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, holding it up, squeeze those glutes. Now I want you to press out, out, out. We're holding it up and we're pressing out. Press with my breath. Release, bringing it down. Inhale. Exhale. All right, this time we're gonna bring our feet together, knees together. We're gonna inhale, pull the pubic bone up towards you. We're gonna blow out, exhale, engage the transverse abdominals while lifting up. And while you're lifting up, open the knees, heels are together. Exhale, bringing it down. Inhale. Exhale, bringing them open. Inhale, bring your knees together and down. Exhale up, inhale together. Exhale up, inhale together. Exhale, open your knees. Inhale, bring the knees together. Exhale, open. Inhale, bringing together. Exhale, open. Inhale, bringing together. Now let's try to get the full movement. So it's inhale, it's exhale, up and open. Inhale, knees together while moving down. Inhale, exhale, up and open. Inhale, together and down. Exhale, up and open. Inhale, together and down. Exhale up and open inhale together and down exhale up open inhale together and down exhale up and open inhale together and down up open inhale together down exhale up open inhale together down now take it up to the top tiny little pulse up 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 up, hold and squeeze, 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 like you're just squishing something in between your glutes. Ah, 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 and release. And pull those knees into your chest. Gently, gently moving back and forth. All right, let's do another set. Let's do our TFO on the side, bringing it over, and this time I'm just going to guide you. Ready? Inhale. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 
13, 14, 15. Release, take, I'm gonna open that up, keep everything stacked, and take it back and out of the diagonal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take it, point those toes down to the ground. Hips are stacked, transverse abdominals engaged. Take it out and back. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Release. Now I'm just going to take, I'm gonna take my leg back at the diagonal, out in the extension, I'm gonna open, close. So toes down, toes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You should feel that butt firing every single time and release, all right? This time for our glutes, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do a swimming Spider-Man. So I'm gonna do both glutes at the same time. This is a Pilates style move. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna create a little pillow with my hands, put my forehead into this pillow. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna push my pelvis down into the ground. I'm gonna engage my transverse abdominals so I do not stress my lower back. And I'm going to bring my, bring your both your feet up. So my glutes are engaged, my transverse abdominals engaged, and I'm gonna swim up and down. <laughs> Release, we're gonna do some counts of 10. Inhale, exhale, bringing them up, squeezing your transverse abdominals, squeezing your glutes. Heels are together and open, little flutter kick. Back and forth, pelvis is equally pushed into the floor. You should not feel any back strain if your abdominals are engaged and release. Inhale. Exhale, inhale. On the exhale, tighten that core, bring the glutes up and do another little swim. Release, we're gonna do one more set. Inhale, exhale, inhale. On the exhale, tighten your core. Tighten your glutes, raise your feet off the ground, and a teeny tiny, teeny little flutter kick. The only thing moving is my legs, back and forth. My pelvis is pushing in, my core is engaged, my glutes are tight, and they're squeezing, 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 release. All right, let's do the other leg. And I'm just gonna, um, so my head can stay in the shade. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see it from the back this time. I'm gonna get my body in an alignment and I'm going to bring my feet slightly forward. That would just be like a hinge at the hips. And I can put that foot down if I need to help stabilize me, the ways, whatever you want. And I'm going to take, and I'm gonna do the TFL. Bring it up. Seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And release. Take a deep breath. And exhale. And this time I'm going to bring my foot behind me. I'm going to open that up. And the medius. I'm going to take it out and back. If you need your hand in front to stabilize you, do not open up those hips, keep those hips stacked. Here is our medius, right underneath our glute maximus. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 
again, we're gonna take, point those toes towards the ground, hips are gonna sink back, minimus. I'm gonna bring it out and back at the diagonal. One, two, three, And now open and close, open, close, open, close, open, close. It's a fast movement, fast but very effective. Keep that core engaged. And release. All right, great job. <laughs> and now I always like to just do a quick stretch when I'm done. So very easy, just bring the knees into the chest, gently rolling back and forth. You do some little circles. This is the perfect time to do a full fascia yoga. You can do those glute stretches on the fascia yoga ball, it's amazing. And I'm gonna bring my knees, or grab a hold right above my ankles, pulling my knees towards me. Again, I'm gonna massage those rotators, massage my lower lumbar, gently rolling back and forth. I'm gonna bring my left knee into my chest. Bringing my left knee into my chest and I'm going to do some ankle circles with my foot. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna bring this outside, hugging the rib cage. Opening up that hip, inhale and exhale. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna bring my right arm across that left knee, bring this across my body nice and slow. As I do, I'm gonna look back towards that left hand, getting a stretch in these rotators, spinal stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna straighten that left leg, bringing it down. Taking that leg all the way straight, try to get maximum stretch between my hip and my armpit. And release. I'm gonna take the left ankle over my right thigh. I'm gonna pull this in reach between here, pulling my right leg into my body while I push the left knee out with my elbow. Inhale, exhale. If you need more stretch, bring that right leg straight. Inhale, exhale. You can rotate that right ankle. If you need more stretch, you can reach up on behind um, your right low calf. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing this in. Our stretch is in this left posterior hip and your rotators all the way through the glutes. If you need more stretch, just keep bringing it into your body. Keep pulling this in, breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. And release, taking that down. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna bring my right knee into my chest. I'm gonna rotate that ankle one direction and the other direction. Do some point and flex. Anytime you can move those joints, do it. And I'm gonna take my right arm and wrap it on that right knee and I'm gonna pull this to the outside of my rib cage, inhaling and exhaling. Opening that hip up. And now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna grab my knee, my right knee. I'm gonna take my left hand, grab my right knee, and I'm gonna gently twist. I'm gonna bring the right hand down, across, straight out from the shoulder. I'm gonna look back at my right hand as I bring this left one across my body. If this is your stretch, just bring your foot in and hold this stretch right here. So you're stretching all the way through these glutes and through the lower spine. And as you rotate it over, 
gently rotating over to wherever you feel the stretch and hold it. This left hand on top of the right knee is just helping assist in the stretch. And then I like to take and I like to start getting the, I trying to get this maximum stretch that I can feel all the way through here and then all the way through here. So it's just a little assisted stretch. It feels good, you get a spinal stretch, pulling through this TFL down, which your TFL becomes, it ties into your IT band. Anytime you um, hear of like IT band syndrome, it's because you got, generally, because you have a tightness up above it, all up in here, so this is a great stretch. All right, inhaling and exhaling. And then straighten that leg, pushing a little assist on my hip and bringing it back. Take the right ankle above the left knee, up on that left thigh. I'm gonna inhale and I'm gonna catch and bring my hands through. I'm gonna push my right knee out, pulling my left thigh towards my body. The stretch is in your right posterior hip and your right hip rotators all the way through those glutes. If this is your maximum stretch, hold it here. If you need more stretch and there's no pain in any joints, you can start walking your hands up, bringing this closer to your body. However you feel your maximum stretch, bringing it closer, inhaling and exhaling. Rolling that in. Inhaling and exhale. You can rotate that left ankle, pointing and flexing. If you want some hamstring, left hamstring stretch in there as well. Bringing it in towards me. And release. Let's go into one more happy baby. I'm just gonna grab the outsides of my feet. I'm gonna gently pull them down, pulling my lumbar spine, opening everything up, pressing my feet down. Take my feet together, let those knees hang wide, gently dropping them out to the side, gentle movement back and forth. And I'm gonna roll over to my right side. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And exhale, I'm gonna gently start to push myself up. Make sure you don't come up too fast. I'm gonna keep my chin down low, coming up. We don't wanna get a head rush. Coming up slowly, my chin is still down on my chest. I'm gonna get my spine straight. I'm gonna gently inhale while I roll my head back up because we've been down a long time. We don't wanna come up too fast. And then I'm just gonna do a couple more things. I'm just gonna butterfly it out. I'm gonna gently bend it forward while pushing out with my elbows. And release. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna drop that right knee down. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna gently come over this left knee, pushing back through that left hip. Hips and shoulders are square. Release. I'm gonna take my right side. I'm gonna drop the right knee, drop the left knee. I'm gonna inhale. And I'm gonna gently turn, square up this right knee and just gently drop it down. Release, coming back up and just gonna take my, my knees hip width apart and I'm just gonna drop left and right. It just feels really good on all those muscles we just worked. Just letting them drop back and forth. All right, great job. All right, have a wonderful day.